Aquarius, and welcome to Days of Our Lives Tarot Tales. The story that's trying to come out for your energy appears to have a theme of an individual who may be getting off track a little bit and distracted by a possible love interest who may not be a good match for them. So I feel like this person may have recently gotten themselves to a place where they're focused, they're moving on their path, and in doing so, their light and who they are is starting to come forth and it's starting to shine brightly. And, you know, as with light, especially in darkness, you know, it attracts things to it. So it may have inadvertently maybe attracted an individual to them who they may have felt that they wanted to be in a relationship with, but they're finding out that, you know, this person is not on the same page as they are. They're not really a good match. Um, because I feel like the person that they have attracted is very like calculating. Um, they're making decisions about who they entertain in these types of relationships based on some criteria that this person does not. And the very thing that makes this person who they are, that's attracted this person in the first place is the very thing that will be diminished by going into a relationship with this person and then they will no longer be a wise move for this person as far as calculating who to be with. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like this person has a lot of uh, just life and energy, creativity, and that's probably what's attracting this person, but that's going to get drained, I feel, if this person plays into this relationship. And, you know, what this person is wanting to get out of this relationship uh, the ind the individual that's attracting it is not what they're going to get. What they're wanting out of it is not what they're going to get in return. But they are going to give a lot of their themselves to it, and ultimately, ultimately, they might know this subconsciously, and so they might be feeling guilty and say like, "Oh well, you know." Not that they just think they're such a great person, but like this person is like appreciate something about them. And so they feel like, well, I'm going to be friends with this person, go out on a date or whatever the case. But I feel I'm getting very strongly that it would be a mistake to do that because it will throw you off course. It will throw this individual off their path, off their course. And at the end of the day, um, because this other person is playing chess, they have moved several spaces over and taken several pawns off the board and so on. And so you would not be a loss to this person if it did not work out. In fact, this person has already accounted for that and has already calculated their moves based on the expectation that you will not be a long-term situation. Whereas the person who is just not getting on their path and feeling good about themselves, they're full of passion, following their the things that make them happy in life, listening to their soul, following their intuition, they will lose a lot because they're going to be pouring into this individual who does not have a long-term plan for them. You know, they're there for the moment, very much there for the moment, what they can get out of it. You know, it's not necessarily to be, you know, antagonistic or, you know, adversarial to the person. I just feel like that's the nature of this person. And they just look at things differently than this individual. And, you know, we can learn from relationships, but there's a difference between learning from a relationship and then being derailed by a relationship. And it's difficult for you to recover. And I feel like the message that's coming out with this is that this only this would only not work because the individual who um, might have a fantasy about this individual would be completely derailed in their path. And it would take a lot of time to get back on track. And I feel like spirit has really brought this person a long way already. So to do that would be a huge slap in the face of your guides and ancestors and everybody that's worked to get you here just to hand that over to someone who's not really, who's just, you know, I'm hearing that Drake song, um, you know, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. 
you know, I'm way up. So this person I feel like might may even be at a, a level, I don't want to say like they're better than this person. But skipping over to the character cards, like this is a king of swords. So I feel like this person may be, you know, maybe even cognitively, you know, they're playing chess and this person is on emotions. You know, I'm seeing cups and water. This person is all swords and, and some cups. And so, yeah, the, this person is very logical. It's all about thoughts. I'm not picking up like manipulation, but just like there's several steps ahead. And I just feel like they've played this game a lot of times. They've played it before. And they know that the at the end of the game, it's going to be checkmate. And it's not going to be, this person is not going to win. You know, I hear that little phrase, like, you know, they don't want us to win. Like, this person does not want this individual to win. I don't know why that is, but I feel like it's just more about, they, they just see relationships differently than what this person does. So the first character, like I said before, is showing heavy King of Swords energy. However, with the Temperance card in reverse, you know, I feel like this is someone who, I don't want to say that they're imbalanced, but this is someone who, who may take on this energy because they feel like that's how they balance things. Because they could be that they might actually be very um, emotional, like they might actually give a lot. And so the way that they, they kind of counterbalance that is to be several steps ahead, to be several steps ahead of that individual by, you know, making sure that they can see what's going to be coming down the pipeline and how they can take action to kind of stop things from not going the way they want it to go. Because I've got this go with the flow card and it's in reverse. So they don't just let things happen. Um, now with the death card in reverse, you know, I feel like this is someone who may they might do this because they don't want like to have endings to things maybe there have been a lot of endings so they found like if things are going to end it's going to end on my terms and i'm going to be ahead i'm not going to come out losing okay so that might be this this imagery of like the chess game that's playing here okay this being played on this other card uh and I wish you could see it because it's like, it says not for you. And it's got a fortune cookie in the middle. And it says, nope, with three exclamation points or no, two exclamation points at the end coming out that cookie. And then there's like this image of a person in the back and the number is six. So that's for somebody. Somebody needs to hear that. Now, the second person, um, this person I feel is trying to, is leaving this behind. I feel like they've recognized it and they're trying to move to smoother waters or the other scenario is that this person may have felt like this person was their smoother water and they were moving towards them. But what they're actually doing, you know, especially if they just got out of something, is that they're moving into a more difficult, a more difficult situation that's actually very choppy. And um, they're not going to, they want to give out to this person, but they're actually going to not get anything in return. And so, you know, it could be that, but I also feel like this person may have already recognized this with the progression of the cards. And so they're leaving that, they're recognizing that they need to give to themselves. Like they need to stop looking for people outside of themselves to feed them emotionally and to give them a sense of joy and pleasure. And I think that this person kind of was like on the cusp of that. And then this situation came in and I feel like it was probably a test from the universe to see, you know, how much did you actually learn? Because here's someone coming in and all the things that you're valuing about yourself and what you're, you're in that energy, it's pulling somebody else that's also looking for that. But just because that person is looking for that does not mean that they are looking for you particularly. So it could just be an essence or an energy that you're giving off that they will find in somebody else. And it's all chess. It's not, it's not cups and water. It's swords and upside down cups here. And I feel like this person has been enlightened about that. Some, you know, about that and some type of third party situation that may have been happening. You know, you know, we said this person plays chess, so they probably have several different pieces on the board and they're organizing them 
And this person's recognizing that they may have been indulging a little bit of a fantasy about who they wanted that person to be and, and recognizing that that's really not what it is. So with the conflict between these two being, you know, someone is holding back. And, you know, I feel like it was this first character is not really giving in the material. And it doesn't have to be like finances, but like just not making themselves available. But what they are giving out, which is concerning, is, you know, heartache. Because we've got the three of swords, like there's disappointment here that's there but for the person to be holding back and playing chess um that's concerning because this person is may even be using disappointment to help them maneuver on this chessboard here um i also have you know someone is not able to defend themselves against the action of others so you know like i said with this this chess it could be taking action or maybe with this three of cups, getting other people involved and just kind of like manipulating and um, creating dynamics, triangulation. That's what I say. Cause I have three swords. I have the three of swords and the three of cups and the dreams card in reverse. So I feel like it's triangulation that's being used to further this person. So and I think it's about this person just being very, having like a fiery nature and wanting to live in the moment and, you know, really not just to like come down on this person because it makes the person so, you know, but I feel like it's a protection mechanism. It's a defense mechanism for this person to prevent the ending of relationships. So if you have people in relationships and you're playing chess with them and you're playing them against each other, you know, they're not going to look at you and see what's going on with you. They're going to look at each other. It's going to be triangulation and all this stuff. And so you never have an ending because you can't get resolution on what's going on. And so it's, you get caught in a cycle. You get caught in a cycle and it's a distraction. It distracts you from what's really important and what you're really supposed to be doing. And I feel like the individual that was, you know, either entertaining this idea has come to the realization that they're being drawn into something that will take up a lot of their time, a lot of their emotional energy, a lot of their psychological energy for something that ultimately at the end of the day, they can't win. There is no prize to be won in this. Um, they'll be bringing their, their energy, their love, their emotion, you know, into a dynamic and feeding a dynamic. And at the end of that, you know, they will be somewhat derailed from where they were going. Whereas at some level, this will help this other individual to get where they need to go. So that's what's coming across with that. And I feel like the guidance is clear about what this person should do, but let's get one more card just to clarify. Yeah. So with the self-reliance, don't be afraid to fly solo. I feel like this is saying that this individual should really um, look deep and figure out what it is about that makes them feel like they need to be in a relationship because I feel like the guidance is for them to be single right now um, and to not entertain these kind of relationships just until they can really learn to love themselves and give themselves the love that they're not getting from others. I feel like this person does love themselves, but I feel like because they have so much passion and pleasure in their life, they might, it sounds awkward, but they might feel guilty, you know, if somebody comes to them and they're saying, you know, I hate to say not gassing them up, but like making them feel like, oh, you're such a wonderful person. Oh, I want to be in a relationship with you. Oh, I would get so much of this and this and that, which is kind of manipulative if it's not really said with real intention. It's baiting, but I feel like it, that gets this person because this person really is a loving, caring person and they do want that. And so if somebody comes up to them, it plays on their heart and they're like, oh, well, I could be in a partnership with this person. I can share some of this joy that I have inside of myself, some of this love that I have for myself, this love of life and all of that. I'll share it with somebody who seems like they need some of that or they want to partake in that. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a matter of making sure that that person is truly coming on the good foot and they intend to give as much of that energy as they're taking. Okay. All right, Aquarius, this is the story that I have for you. Thank you for joining me on Days of Our Lives Tarot, and I will see you on the next video.